Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn how to use the future simple and the future continuous. This is a question that a student had submitted, so I'm happy to answer it for you. And of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. The first question was with this sentence. She'll be demonstrating, so this verb tense, she'll be demonstrating advanced ballet positions in class today. So the student wanted to know, why are they using the ing verb here? That was the question. So about this one specifically. Uh, to answer that, we have to understand what verb tense this is in. So who knows what verb tense this is in? Anyone? You can take yourself off mute and shout it out if you know. What verb tense is it? She will be demonstrating advanced ballet positions. No takers? Okay, this verb tense is the future continuous. The future continuous, that's our verb tense, okay? So that's what this is in, future continuous. She will be demonstrating. And you know it's the future continuous for two reasons. Well, of course, we know it's the future because of will, right? So automatically, we know it's the future. But it's not just the future because the, you know, we have this ing verb like the student was talking about. But not only do we have the ing verb, we have the be verb as well. So the combination of will, be, and then an ing verb, that's how you know it's the future continuous. So the future simple is just will and a base verb. The future continuous is will, be, and then you put your verb in ing. It's always be because will is a modal, and after modal, we use the base verb. So it's always be, that does not change. And then just add ing to your verb. So why are we using the future continuous here is now the question, because it's not just why we're using the ing. We're using the ing because it's the future continuous, and the future continuous requires the ing verb. But why is this sentence in the future continuous? So we use the future continuous to stress the duration of an action. So it has to be an action that's going to take place over a period of time. So there's a start to that action, and there's some sort of duration, and then there's an end to that action. That's when we can use the future continuous verb tense. There has to be some sort of duration. Now, here's the thing. The future continuous is not the most common verb tense, mainly because native speakers just will use the future simple instead. So often, the future simple can be used instead of the future continuous, and there's no difference in meaning. And that's what native speakers do a lot of the time. So for example, I'll demonstrate advanced ballet positions in class today. This is the future simple. Okay, so let me just put it side by side so it's very clear. I guess I should have said she'll to make it the same. And I won't use a contraction just to make it very obvious. She will demonstrate. This is the future simple. Will and base verb. She will demonstrate advanced ballet positions in class today. She will be demonstrating advanced ballet positions in class today. So this is the future continuance. Now, although they're in different verb tenses, 
And although we use the future continuous to stress the duration of an action, I don't hear a difference of meaning between these two. Like ultimately the meaning is the same. So because of that, native speakers will just use the future symbol. Now let me just give you another example. I'll be reviewing the exercises tomorrow. I'll review the exercises tomorrow. Again, we have a future continuous and a future simple, but really I would say there's no difference in meaning. And if I say this one, but then my next sentence, I change it and use the future simple, there's no reason why I did that. Okay. If you really, really, really want to stress the duration of an action, then you can use the future continuous. If it's really important for the audience to know that there's a duration, then you can use the future continuous just to make it clear. Now, just an important note, just remember continuous tenses any continuous tense, so any tense that's in ing is a continuous tense, it can only be used with action verbs, so not state of verbs, and it can only be used if the action has a continuation. Many actions, they don't happen over a period of time, they just happen in an instant, okay? So for example, I'll be tired tomorrow, this is the future simple, but then I'll be being tired tomorrow. We can't do this in the future continuous because the verb be is a state of verb. So it can't exist in an ing form. So just remember that even if there is a duration to an action, but you're using a state of verb, your only choice is the future simple. So that's just a brief overview of the future continuous and the future simple to answer the question, why was this verb in the ing? Uh, ultimately, the future continuous is not the most common verb tense in English. So as long as you're comfortable with the future simple, you'll be fine. Awesome job. Now you know how to use the future simple and the future continuous and the difference between them. So it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave two examples, one with each in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job learning and improving your English grammar. I can't wait to read your example sentences in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.